I get incredible messages by the coolest people that will say stuff like, you're such a queen and you're tattooing and doing your thing and like total inspo and I'm like, yes queen, get it. Or like, you're a queen and you're like, no, you're a queen. And then now you're, you're like, actually no, you. a queen. No, <laughs>
and playing around. And we've all been through this before, which is kind of an advantage for all of us because it's, it's crazy, this process. But yeah, everyone I noticed right off the bat, I'm like, damn, these are phenomenal tattooers and this is gonna be really tough. In this competition, you're working with so many different artists and everyone specializes in a different thing. Everyone understands what the game is. I know earlier you mentioned that trick that you picked up from Deanna. Uh -huh. Is there anything else that you kind of picked up along the way? Is there anything that you noticed about somebody or the way they, they tattoo that you're gonna carry with you? So many things, literally. Yeah. Like, th this is why I come here to do this. Yeah. Like, so many things. John uses a coil to outline mostly everything, and then he'll fill it in with a rotary machine and just kind of watching his technique with that. He's very like simple and efficient and he draws everything to fit in such a way that all the stuff that he's doing, I want to pick up on that because he's killing it. And he's, he's a machine, like he's got the formula down. It's like the same thing every time and it's so pristine, yeah. it's so good. Then also Bob, I mean, the way that he illustrates everything. And even he was using a little hand mixer thing. It's like $10 on the internet. And I'm like, okay, I obviously need one of those. Show me what you're using. Really? You I, I tried one that. of those and thought it was I did initially, and then I changed up the way that the whatever thing like goes into it and it stirs it a little bit it's more like efficiently. Magic now. It's it's better. It's mainly like my hand I would notice. I'm like I'm activating my carpal tunnel when I'm doing the little oh, bit of mixing. Yeah, so you... even though it takes about the same amount of time, my hand is oh. chill. Little things like that. That's interesting. This time around competing, what challenge was your favorite challenge? I feel like I have a couple. Um, the animal pinup challenge was Stop. it was like it was like the concept itself hilarious, obviously. And so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I think there's conventions for this type of thing. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Completely. The yeah. furries, they love the, it. Yeah, no, I'm so glad you got that one. When when they when the canvases were going down the line and that girl said what she wanted, I was like, Katie has to. Yes! She has to. I was so stoked on it. I loved it. Dude. She's actually, she sent me a healed photo and it looks so good. I don't want to see it. Oh my God, and then you called it, when you call it, you're like, in your Arkansas accent, you were like, thick piggy. <laughs> so I was dying. Yes. I was like, this piggy has an Arkansas accent. Yes. It was perfect. It, it was piggy. a whole vibe. It was my favorite thing. It was a whole vibe, yeah. Yes. I love it. This round, what do you think your biggest strengths were? And unfortunately, your biggest weaknesses, where do they lie? Yes, okay, my biggest strengths, I feel like I am usually really good at communicating well with the human canvases and being like, here's what's up, here's what I feel like I'll do best, this is the way that I need to approach this to give you the best tattoo possible. So just making a connection and forming the bond and earning the trust, I feel like is, is something that I'm good at and I'm genuine when I'm speaking with the canvases. Color saturation, palette choices, line work, craftsmanship, that is stuff that I'm really proud of and I feel like I, I am usually really solid with all of it. But I mean, of course, there were a couple times where I'm like rushing through and some of that stuff, you know, it stood out and it wasn't as perfect as yeah. I wanted it to be. And time is always a it's a bastard for me, always. Man, I was definitely feeling for you guys this season, especially you for some of these challenges because all of those things you mentioned are the strong suits that I know you for, right? Like technically clean, perfect line work, solid saturation, bright color, hard colors to saturate. And I felt like you kept getting these skull picks that were like, oh, oh my God, I was, man, dude, I was what? getting on all yeah, season. Dude. Gian. Yeah, but, dude, I felt for you for sure. Yeah. What was the fine art one? That was ridiculous, Ooh. but I had already, I mean, I was eliminated on the fine art challenge season six. So I was like, okay, here we go. What I didn't want to do was just completely avoid the challenge and like, let, okay, let me do like a little tratty thing or whatever. So I'm like, let me just try to go for this thing. And I'm still like, I'm happy with my effort. I love the person that I tattooed. He was super cool totally. and, and all yeah. of that. He was also a tattoo virgin. So I was like, Aww. damn, let's go dude, okay. Yeah. But no, it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it no, so it's hard. so, it's just like, I don't know. It's like watching the world's best soccer player get thrown into a basketball game. <laughs> well, how do you and you're like, how do you make it translate? Uh, it doesn't translate. It, I know how to do this with the ball, you know? And it's you like, have it's to like, wear a totally different hat. Yeah. You use like a different part of your brain to do like a realistic color painting versus something that's outlined and like 
black shading, color, leaf skin, all of that. It's it's very different. Which tattoo do you think you, that you were the proudest of? I mean, I love the thick Peggy oh, yeah, for I, sure. Piggy. I also like the um, hey the froggy. Oh yes. <laughs> I love that one too. Yes, I love the froggy with the leaf skirt. Definitely a vibe. It was like cute. I, what two animals and like cute outfits? Crazy, like on two different. I challenges. love doing it. There was a one point of time for like three months where I told my assistant to only book me animals in costumes. That's awesome. It's so cool. No, it's like the coolest thing, and nobody yes. wants it for some reason. People will start wanting that though. Yeah. I feel after. I don't after know. I was episodes. inspired to get a frog tattoo or do a frog tattoo after that one. It was yes, fun. it was fun. It was fun to draw and it was fun to tattoo. Yeah. So unfortunately, we have to talk about your dragon tattoo. I'm ready to talk about it. it Let's unpack this. was dragging you down, girlfriend. I, I agree. Do you <laughs> wish now that you had the opportunity to do the koi fish instead? Yes. I feel like the power of the skull pick obviously is very real. Um, however, I do feel like with the dragon, I know exactly what I did. With the dragon, what I should have done is I, I probably should have traced an old reference or done something to where I was not so reliant upon like, okay, let me interpret like these few different references and then try to do like my own thing because you don't have to do that necessarily. A lot of the dragons I feel like that you see in traditional Japanese, they are borrowing a lot of the same elements and they will look really similar, but have of course like their own kind of stylized characteristics. but. I think that I just was thinking about it so much. I also literally, I wish this weren't even true, but I literally like spent the whole night trying to figure it out, didn't go to sleep. I didn't even put on lipstick before I did that tattoo and I always wear lipstick and I, cause I was like, I gotta figure this out. There's literally no time for lipstick. I gotta get this going. I think the composition part of it, originally I was like, I'm just gonna do a dragon head or I could do like a really cool dragon claw and have it going up and over. I was like, no, if I do that, then I feel like it's not really the ask. I overthought that thing so hard, dude. I don't, I don't know. Like, it was Did too you? Much. Because I put a lot of thought into that. When you got that skull pick, Ami and I were talking, you know, backstage, and we were basically like, okay, Katie has two options here. She can either do the full body dragon, uh -huh. this guy requested this big, uh -huh. so it'll look like a lizard. I know. Like and a I, salamander on right. the arm. Or she can crop it and do a part of the dragon. Right. But either way, man, I don't know. To do that, even cropped in six hours, I kind of was like, damn, should I just do a full body? It would look 90s as and like not in a good way, probably. It would look kind of crazy. But if I just did like a full body that's like this big yeah. and to do all the scales, I'm like, how do I do this in six hours? For me, I got into the zone, once I was in the middle of the dragon tattoo, I'm like, okay, this isn't, I didn't feel like I was done with the drawing yet. I hadn't really worked out all of the, the kinks in the drawing, but I'm like, I gotta get like the stencil to the skin and I need to just get this tattoo finished. So it was literally like, I just wanna finish tattoo on this person. So once I started to get in that mindset, I was like, like I'm, I know that I am like in my head too much. And then it's a crapshoot. You're like, okay, this can go one of two ways. I'm gonna trust myself, and it's either gonna happen miraculously in front of me, and I'm gonna be a passenger on this ride. Yes. Or mm -hmm. it's gonna snowball into a disaster. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's for the worst sure. feeling, and you're in the middle, and you're just like, well, I have to do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's exactly uh, that's exactly it. I mean, Ruby Rose and I, in the end ended up defending you. Here's the deal. Your tattoo had a lot of, it had problems. It was a really hard, it was a hard challenge. You, you didn't have very many places you could have gone. Yeah. I kind of feel like too, even though my dragon was like super clunky and funky, like I still kind of liked it. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like 90s clogs that are cool yeah, again. Like yes. platform shoes. Yes, like I, I really like honestly I'm kind of vibing. I might put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like that's gonna be our shop shirt. Your shop shirt. Or get one made and send it to everyone from the season. You just send it around as like an alumni thing. You just I survived season 14 and that's the I survived. <laughs> I did not survive. I did. Well, technically I did not. Or you can put the dragon on a shirt and it just says, today, Satan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's today. It says, not today, yeah. Satan. Today, today, Satan. Today is the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can take that idea if you want. Yes, love it. What are you hoping to accomplish in the future and what is your 
biggest dream. With our shop expansion, I want to take on apprentices and provide a space where everyone feels really comfortable. If I can do something really beautiful with our business, um, that would make me really happy. Like a constructive, healthy oh my gosh. environment. There's so much, I feel like there is, within tattoo shops, there is kind of like, there's some toxic work environments, there's some like old school mentalities. It's important to me, to, as a business owner, to try to create a space where er, like communication is good and where we're like, being really thoughtful with our hiring process. Yeah, and it's like a healthy environment that's positive yeah. and creates a positive impact. Yes, that's yeah. that's really important to me. And if, if Ink Master, if competing can kind of help put me on the map a little bit more, put my shop on the map, yeah. all of that. And I love that. Get us to hire like awesome people yeah, and tattoo like, awesome people. That's so important yeah. to me. I, I feel strongly about it. There's so. your five year plan. Boom. You can take that one too. All right, okay, Ryan. All right, yes, all the good ideas. I have so, so much enjoyed watching you tattoo the whole season. I Aww. do wish I got to see more of you in so many, in so many challenges, just because your tattoos are so cool and they're fun and... F skull picks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Had to work with the cards that were dealt to yeah. me. Yeah, we'll have to do round four. Hey, I will. It's always a yes. <laughs> like, I will. Perfect. Cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. And don't forget to check out the Ink Master YouTube for everything Ink Master.